Good evening. Welcome to ORP TV. I'm Craig Stagner coming to you from the JK Auto Repair Studio. This is your All Parts Auto Salvage Weekend Race Report. Well, it was a busy one, so let's get right into it. Got a lot to talk about. Uh, Lucas Oil Speedway had their event, the Jesse Hockett Daniel McMillan Memorial Race. This was, they had test and tune on Thursday and then racing on Friday and Saturday. Uh, there's a look at the uh, event poster. The ASCS Sprints winner on Friday night was Mark Smith out of Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Justin Sanders from Aromas, California came all the way here to take second. And Sam Heffertep Jr. from Sunnyvale, Texas was third. And the other class running was the Power Eye War Sprints. Mario Clauser from Chatham, Illinois takes the win. Casey Schumann from this is one of the coolest sound in cities. Rattlesnake Bend, Arizona takes second. And Garrett Aiken from Paris, Illinois takes third. So you have right racers coming from all around to this event. Um, come back Saturday night, the ASCS Sprints after taking third on Friday night. Sam Heffertep Jr. takes the win. Derek Hagar from Marion, Arkansas takes second. And Friday night's winner, Mark Smith, comes in third. The Power Eye War Sprints, uh, Garrett Aiken, also who was third on Friday night, takes the win on Saturday. Colton Cobble from Kansas, Illinois is second, and Wyatt Burks from Topeka, Kansas comes in third. A great night of racing, a two-day event, actually of racing three total days. Lucas Oil Speedway always does a fantastic job. Salina Speedway, one of the two Salina tracks that we cover. This is Salina Speedway in Salina, Kansas. Uh, they raced over the weekend. They're, they also announced their season champions. Here's your se season champions. Uh, your Sport Mod, IMCA Sport Mod champion, Jason Olmstead. IMCA Modified champion, Jace Vaught. IMCA Stock Cars champion, Tanner Portnoy. The IMCA Sport Compact, Allison Bird, and your hobby stock winner, Zach Olmstead. So the Olmsteads take a pair of season championships. That's got to be really cool to have that. Now, Friday night, they had the racing. This is what set up, a, made their championship, confirmed it. Your winners that night, the IMCA Modified was Clay Money, uh, Sports Mod, Jacob Olmstead, Stock Cars, Dusty Blake. Hobby stock was Zach Olmstead, and Sport Compact was Drake Bullmeyer. Now they came back on Saturday night with go kart racing. The I'm not sure what this stood for. I meant to look it up. The SJMS, whatever division that is, the Adult Open Kart. David Gortz with the win. Clone Kart Dustin Forsberg, Junior One Kart Wyatt Huffman, and Junior Two Hayden Helm. Congratulations to them as well as all their season champions. 81 Speedway in Park City, Kansas race Saturday night. Your USRA modified winner, Tyler Davis. Rookie modified winner, Jason Denny. Street Stocks, David uh, Blosher. And Mini Stock, Corey Bice. Lakeside Speedway in Kansas City, Kansas raced Friday and Saturday. Uh, sweeping both nights, you had three drivers that took Friday and Saturday. B-Mod, uh, local racer J.C. Morton takes both Friday and Saturday of the B-Mod. Stock cars, Kevin Anderson with the Friday-Saturday sweep. And E-Mod, Stephen McCarr, also with the two-day sweep. Now on Saturday, Pure Stock, Gary Billings Jr. with the win. Uh, Friday night they had a mod. Clint Johnson took that win, and the Grand National winner on Friday night was Jason Park. Salina High Banks in Salina, Oklahoma, on Saturday night modified Clint Johnson, B mod Willie Gamble, Super Stock Colby Atherton, Pure Stock Nathan Campbell, and Trophy Class with Jonathan Scroggins. Now our really good friends over at Hillbilly Speedway race Saturday night. Uh, this is the last regular race before their big one coming up. They still have more races coming up, but don't forget we'll be talking more about that going on. Next weekend is the Demolition Derby at Hillbilly Speedway. We will be there for that. Can't wait to see that. But this past Saturday night, your V8 winner, Ty Hudson, 
Second was Tim 100% Jenkins. Third, Hunter Roast. And Josh Head was fourth. The V6 class had an A and B. The A winner was Colton uh, Zeigenbein. I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. C Z C I G E N B E I N. That's a name that I have never seen before. So, Colton, congratulations on the win. Preston Horn is second, followed by his brother Elijah Horn, Aaron Stogsdale, and Kayla Dirks round out your A class. The B class was Tim Craig, James DeWitt, Kenneth Mills, Donnie Gibbs, and Jordan Roast. And the four-cylinder class, Dylan Perry, Darren Moyers, Joe Power, uh, someone named Gary, didn't get his last name, and then our pal Don Power, who always gives us all the results. So congratulations to all of them at Hillbilly Speedway in Fair Grove. Now, Springfield Raceway had their two-night event. Uh, last night was night number one. The second night of this is going on right now. Uh, I saw some video that they are racing at Springfield Raceway right now. But the route... Route 66 showdown last night. Man, it's good to see this guy. He's back into a car. Uh, he tore up his car before, so now he's back at it. Ryan Gilmore takes the USRA B-Mod win. The IMCA A-Mod winner was Stephen Bowers Jr. Midwest Mod A-Class was Jared McIntyre. The Midwest Mod B-Class, Justin Parrish. Mini late model, Scott Sofa. And your mini stock was Jacob Purrier. There's a look at your uh, schedule right now. They are racing there uh, right now. Uh, let's see, at 5.30 they start racing. So they're just a little bit into it. You still have time to get over to Springfield Raceway and catch the second night of the Route 66 showdown. Mocan Saturday. They had racing going on today also with the Big Money Sunday, but their Saturday bracket race. Sportsman, you had Mike Barker uh, over Yogi Snyder. The motorcycle class, Chris Baker defeats Joe Lawyer. Junior mod was Gannon Carson taking down Gage Rutledge. Junior competition class was Blake Ginger defeating Benny Ammons. The No Electronics, Daniel Curl defeats Yogi Snyder. So Yogi takes it uh, to a pair of finals there. That's You, you want to win one of those, get a pair of seconds, uh, kind of a little disappointing, but hey. Pretty good making it to both finals. Super Pro was Kevin Tracy over Zach Klein. And the Ozark Super Pro class was Rachel Meyer over Brady Taylor. Congratulations to them. Nevada Speedway, I incorrectly had it listed as being their championship night last night. It's actually, I saw today that it's next Saturday will be their championship night. So this was the next to last race at Nevada. Your late model winner was Jerry Morgan, who comes back and also wins the B-Mod class. Pure stock was Sean Hendren. Midwest Mods was Carter Brownsberger. Street stocks, Chris Kircher. And mini stock was Kevin McSparrett Jr. I-35 in Winston, Missouri on Saturday night. USRA A -mod, I'm sorry, USRA Modified Terry Schultz. Chris Jackson takes the USRA B-Mod. USRA Stock Car, Doug Keller. Luke Ramsey is your pure stock winner. Kerry Davis in the Midwest Limited late model. E-Mods was Cameron Haynes. Sport Compact, John Willard. And Midwest Lightning Sprints was Chase Fisher. Lemon and Midway, they've still got quite a few races to go. That uh, track is not afraid, just like Springfield Raceway. They'll run on a, up into October. So quite a bit more racing still to go. But Lemon and Midway Friday night. Parker Smith is your pure stock winner. The USRA B Mods, Dylan McCowan. Midwest Mods, Colt Cheevers. Late Model, Mark Simon. And Randy Dye takes your Hornets class. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Series was in action on Saturday. This was at the Spring Creek Motocross Park in Millville, Minnesota. Adam Cien Cerullo, good to see him finally breaking through uh, on his second part of his 450 career here. He's still young, but a pair of one first places, so he takes the win. Blake Baggett, a pair of seconds to finish second overall, and Justin Bam Bam Barsha finishes third. In the 250 class, Dylan Ferrandis with a pair of firsts takes the overall. Jeremy Martin is second, and Alex Martin third. The NASCAR series was at Bristol this weekend. It was the Thursday, a pair of Thursday races, Friday and Saturday. 
it started out great and got ended up just as exciting with the racing across the series. On Thursday night, Sam Mayer, who took the win here at Lebanon I-44 Speedway, has been on fire. He has, I believe, had three or four wins nearly in a row going into this uh, at the ARCA series level. Well, he made his, I believe it was his third or fourth start at the truck series level. And wouldn't you know, he takes the win and actually passed the series leader late in the race to take the win. So Sam Mayer takes the win in the truck series. Well, immediately following that, they get the trucks off there. He goes over, jumps in his ARCA car, and wins that too. So two wins in a matter of a couple hours got me thinking, has anyone ever won multiple races in the same day? Well, I could only find one example of a racer winning two races in the same day. And this racer is one of my favorites, Vern Hendricks' favorites, and he divides everybody right down the middle, and that would be my boy Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch did it back in 2009, had a pair of wins in the same day, and almost did it again a few years later, and got beat by like two thousandths of a second, and had a first and second. So, best I could tell, this is only maybe the second time in NASCAR history someone's taken a pair of wins in the same day. Sam Mayer, and I think he's 17 years old. He is going to be really, really good. Xfinity comes back on Thursday. I'm sorry, on Friday night. Chase Briscoe takes the win on that one. Didn't watch it to be honest. I missed that one. However, last night. This one was close. It got down to the very end. Um, as always, man, you know how I hardly have any fans more divisive or uh, enthusiastic than the Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch fans. Well, that's about how close it ended up. Kevin Harvick, I think it was his ninth win on the season. Uh, Kyle Busch is second and Eric Jones third. Um, Kevin Harvick, almost certainly going to walk away with this championship. He looks so strong. I don't, I just don't see anybody hardly beating him. So it was uh, really exciting racing at Bristol. A few other tracks had races, big events this weekend. We didn't get the results on. Ozark Raceway had the Street Machine Shootout. Bonterre had yesterday and today their Schaefer Oil Race that was $10,000 payout for small tire and big tire. E3 raced on Friday night. Uh, Spokes BMX was Thursday. Jeffers Motorsports Park, historic Bolivar Speedway. When we get those results, we'll get them posted. Going on tonight, uh, Randolph County Raceway, Springfield Raceway night number two of the Route 66 Showdown. Mocan had their Sunday Big Money event. Centerville Dragway has bracket racing going on right now. And as I said, Bon Terre has their second day of their Schaefer oil race. I want to thank you all. Uh, it really means a lot to us. And I hope that one thing that you could really do that if you like what we're doing here at ORP TV is uh, share our page to your page. Let your friends know that we're the place to go to to catch all the results and schedules and the information. I will never tell you that we're going to do the deep dive, and uh, if you're a gearhead and a diehard fan, we're probably not going to get too deep on anything on any of the races, but if you're a fan who enjoys knowing the schedules and the results and just know, I want to know who won. I like motocross enough. I know that name. I want to hear this. No one is going to give you more coverage of more tracks. We're up over 40 tracks that we cover now. Uh, than ORP TV is, and I thank you so very much. Heather Van Cleve, I see you there. That reminds me, I want to tell everyone, we made it official with them. We are going to be, ORP TV is going to be one of the sponsors at the Twister Alley Raceway Boogeyman event coming up next month, and we are putting in a hundred extra dollars into the rookie class, so the winner is going to get fifty dollars, second place is going to get thirty, and third place will get an extra 20 bucks on behalf of Mary and I and ORP TV. So we're proud to be sponsors of that Boogeyman event at Twister Alley Raceway. We'll be talking a lot more about that as it gets closer. Don't forget, we'll be back here Wednesday night 
to talk about the events coming up this next weekend, including the uh, Bump and Run Demolition Derby at Hillbilly Speedway, where we will be at. So be sure to join us back here Sunday night. I'm sorry, Wednesday for the midweek report on ORP TV. So thank you so very much from the JK Auto Repair Studio. This has been the All Parts Auto Salvage Weekend Race Report. We'll see you back here Wednesday at 6 p.m. I'm Stag.